Last week, the province announced a massive investment to the tune of $150 million over two years. This is to expand access to fertility services. The health minister is saying this will triple the number of families able to get government-funded services in hospitals and clinics. And for those going through the process, the big question is, what does this actually mean? Joining me now, Dr. Dan Nayot, Medical Director of the Fertility Partners Organization. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much. We know so many families that struggle when it comes to fertility. So hearing this big dollar figure, that sounds great. Uh, let's break it down on where things stand right now before this $150 million comes in. Yeah, I, I think we're super excited about this announcement. I just want to zoom back. The Ontario Funding Program started in 2016, and this has allowed Ontario residents struggling with infertility access to one funded cycle of IVF. So that includes the egg retrieval, the associated lab fees, and all the embryo transfers. Since the program started, thousands have accessed it, but there's still costs that are not covered. Think of medications, test in those embryos, annual storage fees. So this announcement of an additional $150 million is very much celebrated. And as you said, uh, we're estimating about triple the amount of accessibility. But even more exciting is they're also adding a tax credit. So there's additional costs, like I said, that even with a phone funding program won't be covered. So things like travel for patients who live far away or for fertility medications. Uh, when you look at it, you think this is great. One uh, Where it first stood, one publicly funded cycle, but when it comes to access, not every single clinic uh, offered the publicly funded cycle. So do we have an idea on how many more we'll be offering then? I mean, the, the health minister said triple. Right. So I would assume maybe triple the amount of clinics, but what, what does that mean then access-wise? Well, the, the program started about nine years ago, so since then there's been new fertility clinics that have popped up okay. that, that were not part of the program. Mm -hmm. We don't know the details yet how these funds are going to be distributed, but we do know the commitment to increase the funding. So we're, we're quite excited because, you know, for patients right now, there's quite a long wait list. Those who can only attempt this through the funding and, you know, across, really depends the city and the clinic you're on, but it could be anywhere from one to three years. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that um, that wait list because it is great to have a cycle funded, but then people take a number of factors into consideration. If they can afford it, they say, do I want to wait the one to three years because the quality of my eggs might not be the same. I might be in a different place in life. And so that there is this balance. Do you assume this wait list will be slashed? How do you feel from your expertise on what you think well, might happen? It's a great point you highlight. So in fertility, time is critical because female age is highly correlated with success. So some patients whose only opportunity is IVF and only opportunities through the funding program, they're quite at a disadvantage. So hopefully this uh, infusion of money will help. But some people do uh, choose not to wait and pay out of pocket or are fortunate enough to have fertility benefits as part of their work package. But all in all, we do think this is a huge rising of the tide for all patients. Let's paint a little financial picture. For someone who has not gone through these treatments uh, before, how much money in its entirety could, say, an IVF cycle cost? I know there are a few different factors uh, that can come into play, but in general terms. Yeah, so that, this one's tough because it really depends on the city and the clinic you're with. But I would break it down into if once you're ready to go into IVF, there are the fertility medications. I think you can uh, estimate about three to $5,000. There's the IVF process, which can range from, you know, ten to fifteen thousand dollars sometimes you're testing those embryos to make sure they're chromosomally normal that could be several thousand dollars as well and that each transfer could be about two to three thousand dollars so these things accumulate very quickly yes okay so we are waiting on more details as you mentioned we don't have all the details when it comes to this 150 million that will be broken down by the government in a bit but hopefully this will help more families dr. Dan Nayad appreciate your time thank, thank you, you so much